Women of Reddit, where is the cringiest place a date has taken you? Not really a date, but a guy I was talking to asked me to go to his grandpa's funeral like two weeks after we first hung out. I did it, and God rest your soul, Grandpa Jack, but if I'm ever introduced somewhere as a special friend ever again, I'm going to unalive myself. To a Chinese restaurant to pick up food he ordered for himself. Didn't ask me if I wanted anything. Then back to his house, so basically I watched him eat his food, and then his mom came home. I asked to be taken home after that. One time, a guy wanted to show me his cool hidden spot in the city, where he went to Think and Be Alone and where he wrote all of his best songs. It was just a grimy underpass downtown where homeless people did meth and made bonfires. I once went out with someone who was a year or two younger than me, and he must have been intimidated by our age difference or something, because he picked me up and we proceeded to cruise north, after we'd made plans to head south and grab lunch somewhere in my hometown. After 30 to 45 minutes of him missing every exit for miles, and saying almost nothing as I awkwardly carried the conversation by sharing random stories, I politely asked, Hey, where are we headed? Finally, he admitted, I don't actually know where the place you want to eat is. Why didn't you ask me how to get there? I don't know. Why don't you just give me a lift home then? Okay. I still don't really understand what happened, but it was easily the most awkward date I've ever been on. It was our second date, and he asked me if I wanted to come over to his house to watch a movie. I knew he lived at his parents' house, but they had an in-law suite, so I assumed we would just be hanging out in his portion of the house. But no, he decided he really needed to introduce me to his parents. He also then abandoned me in the room with his father for like 15 minutes, and it was incredibly awkward for both of us. Then we finally went to his portion of the house, and he spent 45 minutes talking about how much he enjoyed composing digital music, except everything he played for me just sounded like it was an arpeggio going back and forth, and it was awful. One of my friends was very close friends with his sister, and I said something to her about how the guy had been so weird, and she was like, well yeah, I mean, he's a nice guy, but he's living with his parents because he's recovering from a drug problem. I told you that, right? No. No, you did not. My date was 31, me in my mid-twenties. He took me to a coffee house to see his really good friend's band play. I know, that doesn't sound cringy, but his really good friend was a 17-year-old girl. I should have just cut out then. No, she wasn't his friend's kid or relative. He claimed they were really good friends and thought I'd get a kick out of knowing she had both nipples pierced. This was the beginning of a horrible experience which I've discussed in the past as creepy poetry guy. My cringiest place has to be a shared frat dorm to watch his buddies bet and race cockroaches. During the coffee portion of the date, he joked that he made winning roaches. I later learned that it wasn't a joke and he didn't mean marijuana, but the bugs. That's what he and his buddies did for fun. It was so gross, but they legit made this cute little obstacle running track for the roaches, and it was way more crowded than I thought. Those dudes really got into their little gambling ring. I can't stand roaches, though, and he just let them crawl all over him. His room was full of little insect breeding tanks, too, all beetles and roaches. Their scuttling sound ate up the silence in a way I just couldn't stand. <sighs> We were way too early for the cinema, and so we ended up going to Tesco. It was an awesome first date. We ended up trying on clothes and shoes in the aisles, and we both had pains in our faces from laughing. We did eventually make it to the cinema, and afterwards, it all led to some very hot sex. He took me to his friend's place and played video games, ate, and just flat out ignored me. I left 20 minutes later. A church activity. A guy used me to try and reactivate me in the religion. Costco, to walk around and try samples as appetizers, then the food court. It was high school though, and we were just broke kids, so I thought it was actually a pretty good date, all things considered. McDonald's. He thought he was going to screw me in his car afterwards. Farm boys are so romantic. His house to watch him play guitar because he forgot that he didn't have money to go out. An older guy took me to a concert that ended up being dad rock with a bunch of old hippies, and I left because it was so bad. The age gap really showed itself there. I ended up in the nosebleeds chugging my second beer watching him from above as he found a gray-haired woman on the floor with a sweeping skirt to dance with and a goofy-ass smile on his face. I called an Uber and dipped. To his house to meet his entire family. As a surprise, on the first date, he proceeded to get wildly drunk and told them all I was his girlfriend. I couldn't get away from there fast enough. They were all nice though, but it was one of the longest, cringiest dates I've ever been on. Oh, I have a good one. I went on a date with a guy I met online. He was a couple years younger than me, but I figured two years younger wasn't that big of a deal when we were both in our 20s and it was only one date. Boy, was I wrong. 
We met at Starbucks, and he asked me to pay for his coffee. Okay, I guess. So I pay for our coffees, and we just start talking. But then he starts asking me about my career path and to advise him. All I could think was, what the f***? He kept messaging me after until I blocked him. I've never been on a date, mostly because I'm not very likable, so no one approaches me. But one guy did try asking me out once. He wanted to bring me to his house for a party with all of his friends who were all men. It's not cringy, but it's definitely a nope situation for a lone woman. A fucking gas station. To a riverboat casino. Once we arrived, he asked me if I had money to spend and proceeded to sit at a poker table for about two hours while I just kind of hovered, then asked if I wanted to go to a swingers club. It was a blind date set up by one of my co-workers, and I laid into her Monday morning. Found out months later that he got fired from his firm for falsifying his education records, and that he had a six-year-old daughter that nobody knew about. I try not to be judgmental at all of where people take me because you never know. But one time, a date asked me what I wanted to do. I gave him a suggestion, and he suggested Dave and Buster's in return. I said I preferred to do something else for the simple fact that the Dave and Buster's by us is awful, super dirty place, and just not the ideal place to have a first date. He agreed. So when he came to pick me up, and he started driving, about halfway there, he goes, Okay, so we're going to Dave and Buster's, and turns in. Awful place. Awful date. Dude ended up being a major sexist asshole. I told him I wasn't interested, and he started blowing up my phone, calling me a hoe and all types of shit. I didn't answer right away because I was in class, so he starts calling me. Blocked him immediately, never even kissed this man, and he was calling me a whore. I was sitting at a table at Starbucks waiting for my order. I was on the clock and texting slash calling people for work. Dude asked if he could sit at my table. I barely looked up and just mumbled something like, yeah, I don't care, I'm leaving soon. The guy keeps trying to speak to me while I'm simultaneously texting and calling people. I was getting really annoyed, but ignored him. Ended one of my calls and was getting ready to make another when this dude just stands up super fast and with a huff and proceeds to say, you know, I'm a nice guy and I'm not ugly. I'm sitting here just trying to be friendly and tell you how beautiful you are. You know, you know, if you went out with me, I would do everything. We'd go out to dinner, that good Chinese food, and I would even make sure my ma was gone so I could give you that good loving girl. I would suck your sock sweat. So anyway, not a date, but that was his proposal. It was a very dramatic play in a theater where I cried my eyes out and got very upset. The play included torturing children, corpses, and other heavy stuff I just couldn't stand. It was based on a classical literature piece, and I was not ready for that. Both of us were super bummed, but I rationally hated him for this memory for my Valentine's Day. We broke up shortly after. The one that springs to mind is his bedroom in a shared house to eat fried chicken on the floor while watching the latest episodes of Sherlock on his iPlayer. A strip club. For our first date! Ugh. He ended up talking to the girls and trying to get their numbers. This isn't necessarily bad, but after our date, he stopped by his grandma's grave. She had passed a few months prior, and it caught me off guard because I wasn't expecting it. He got mad because later I politely said that a heads up would have been helpful, that way I can prepare myself instead of dumping that all in my lap all of a sudden. He invited me to hang out at his house. He lived with his mom, who was a chain smoker and a hoarder. And she was a Paul Mall smoker, for those who care. His parents' house, where I was then referred to as his girlfriend, and had glowing big smiles from his parents so pleased to finally meet me. We were not dating, we were friends. Not with benefits, just friends. It was super awkward to find out that he had full-on told them we were dating. Needless to say, that friendship dissolved shortly thereafter. I once invited my date to pay for several parking tickets, but the place was packed with so many people and it took us like four hours to get to the counter. We were standing up almost all the time. After that, I felt bad for taking her and we were kind of tired, so we went to get some tacos across the street and had a great time at the botanical gardens all afternoon. We ended up drinking beers and sharing a huge plate of french fries with bacon and cheese and laughing all night. After that, we started going steady. That was five years ago. We are still together. Met a guy on a dating app, and we planned to go to the movies for our first date. So I got all dressed up and was excited, only for him to tell me that he didn't want to go to the movies anymore. And we ended up just driving around the neighborhood. I definitely blocked him after that. A shipping container in the middle of f***ing nowhere. Thought I was going to die. 
He wanted to buy it for me and turn it into a house. It was our first fucking date. And even worse, I had never met him before as it was a random online hookup. So of course I said no. He then asked me if I could take the blame for a speeding fine he just received. Because he had no points left and would be going to jail. I'd politely declined that offer too. A family fun zone, not because of this reason, but because the day pass was $20, which I offered to pay, and he declined, but then he proceeded to make us ride the ferris wheel at least six times, because he wanted to get his money's worth. I ended up puking from all the motion sickness. He got upset that I puked the hot dog he bought me. Worst date ever. I get some laughs now and then when I think about it, but I kept offering to pay, which he would politely decline, and then be upset that he spent his own money. It was so strange. A rifle range in 40 plus degrees Celsius heat with three of his mates. I'd never met any of them. In Newman, a very isolated town in Western Australia. I was wearing a dress and slip-on shoes, assuming a lunch date. But hey, I got to fire a gun. Why waste the opportunity, right? In hindsight, I should have bailed after that date. After the birth of our twin girls, he gave me a 10 kilogram box of washing powder for Mother's Day and PTSD. So I hope you've enjoyed these stories today. Let me know in the comments down below what's the cringiest date you've ever been on, whether as a guy or as a gal. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, helps out with the algorithm. And if there's anything that you think I missed or should have talked about instead, maybe another topic for next time, feel free to leave that in the comments down below as well. I'm Redlist. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.